Hello, in this video we will talk about how to use button in MATLAB GUI. Open MATLAB. As we discussed in last video, type guide and we will open our existing GUI. Now in this uh, uh, video we will concentrate our, our discussion about push button. So we will take a push button here from here and then we will explore uh, details about it. Now when we uh, click on the this push button again the properties uh, opens and uh, we can uh, do several things out here like we can change the background color of this push button we can change the text size of the push button and many other things similarly the string which is appearing on the push button we can also uh, change it and suppose we are changing it to jcb ro and then tag as we discussed last time the tag is used to identify each and object distinguishly so we can also change the tag of this push button to jcb ro so th these uh, were the some changes we uh, did depending on our application uh, for timing and then we will save it now our application is or we want to create a, a small program uh, in which whenever we click on as soon as we click on this jcb arrow button the image display in this window unlike a previous case uh, as soon as we were uh, starting the gui the image was displaying here in this case we want uh, the image to be displayed only when we click on the uh, this uh, jcb arrow button so first we need to clear the opening function uh, which we did uh, last time so so that it uh, will make sure that uh, image will not be displayed as soon as we will start uh, our function and then we will call the callback of uh, this button so the uh, this comes to the fun callback function of that button and the function starting name is same as that of the tag of that button so callback is uh, in rough terms you can understand uh, whatever we want to perform from this button all those information I or all those code must be under the callback of this button so suppose we want to display the image uh, uh, after pressing on the button uh, so that code of displaying uh, must be under this callback and save and now we will uh, run our program and now no image is being displayed and as soon as we click on this jcbr button the image is being displayed so actually what is happening as soon as we are clicking on this button this line these lines of code are executing and in this life uh, lines of code i am sure is there so it is just displaying the image to the appropriate location <coughs> So by this we can uh, do several uh, uh, several things like suppose we are using two buttons here now and we change the tag of this button to test suppose test and then now we want to make sure we want to uh, now uh, want to modify our program a little bit as whenever we click on this on this button jcb arrow our image is uh, being displayed here and whenever we click on this button a uh, random wave is generated or random wave is displayed there so our, our first program is already done so we will go to the callback of this uh, new button you call back Uh, this is the callback of test button and here first we'll uh, generate a random number a a equals to r a and d or suppose 100 comma 1 and then we will plot a 
and saved it so now uh, if we run it our image is being displayed a random wave image random wave image and random wave. so through this method we can do any any thing uh, depending again depending on our application and we can create uh, uh, many such buttons and uh, uh, can generate or can create a uh, beautiful applications out of it so that's it for this video thank you